Well, I was in Boston playing music. I played music for a living for almost 20 years. From 1963 to 1983, and then I, a little bit more until 93, <laughs> anyway. But I opened the uh, uh, Orpheum because I, I got the germ planted in my brain in Cambridge in 1971 when uh, the restaurant, the Orson Welles restaurant, was a big, like, Harvard um, hangout, Vassar, um, organic, early, very early organic food hangout restaurant. And, you know, brown rice and swordfish steaks and seaweed and that whole thing. <laughs> and people were, I mean, I was um, involved, of course, I'd been involved with John Waters and had been involved in making films and have been in just uh, raised in the cinema you know, in the cinema so uh, I, people wanted to see films uh, old films the way they were meant to be seen on a big screen instead of on a little tiny black and white TV in their apartment <laughs> so we I got together. I can't even remember the guy's name now. <laughs> There's a lot of things I don't remember from 1971, believe me. But uh, <laughs> this is one of the good memories from 1971. And it, it, what happened was you could, we put up, a, they put up, we got a big screen. We got a, you know, screen from Harvard or somewhere and uh, put it up and, uh, got films from the library and and ran them until we you know got in trouble and <laughs> and, real, and did what you know what needed to be done as it as it needed to be done to not go to jail for running films you know <laughs> kind of and that uh, was cuz you know it was still the hippie days it was like 1971 it was you know they just started killing us at Kent State and stuff so, uh, yeah, you know, um, people became a hangout, and people really responded to seeing W. C. Fields and King Kong and Laurel and Hardy and Dinner at Eight and Geez, on and on, Metropolis, all those things that freaks, all those things that became cult films. The regiment at the Orson Welles was there was a giant fireplace. And hippies could go in and cut wood for food. You could be fed for cutting wood. And then you be, it began to be that you could cut wood, wood for food and a movie. And people, boy, we had a lot of wood. <laughs> but it eventually it, it, it evolved into a commercial venture. And it became one of the, the greatest... Uh, Revival houses that was going besides uh, Jonas Mikas's place in New York and uh, the, uh, the uh, Paris Archive. <laughs>